Productivity is at the core of effective project management. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you some of my favorite productivity chat GPT prompts that you can use to get your valuable time back as a project manager, and perhaps most importantly, lead to less stressful days in the office. Now, before I begin, and to keep this video as short as possible, I do just want to quickly mention that this document will be available for free download via uh, the link in the description. So you can copy and paste all of these prompts in your own time, uh, and you can ex essentially save uh, the need of having to type these out manually. So with that said, let's delve into the prompt. Now, the first one is all about uh, ensuring that you uh, optimize your time. It's all about time management. So here is the prompt. I'm just gonna copy and paste it directly into ChatGPT just so you can see exactly what it looks like. Now I'm also gonna be using the 3.5 model, which is obviously free. So all you need is an account to do this. So anyone of you watching can do this in your own time. I'm just gonna quickly break it down just to show you how I've built this prompt and why it's so effective. Firstly, we are training OpenAI exactly on who we are, our persona. So that's really, really important just to ensure that we get the output uh, expected. So here we go, as a project manager, I often find that my biggest time wasted during the workday include activities such as, and here you can put in anything that is taking up your time. As an example, I put unnecessary reports, engaging in lengthy status meetings and micromanaging team members. Does that sound familiar to you? To optimize my time management skills, I'm looking for recommendations on which of these tasks to eliminate or delegate. Additionally, I'd appreciate insights on how to reduce these distractions effectively. So I'm gonna plug this in and while it goes, uh, yeah, let's just let this run as quickly as we can. But yeah, if what I like about these prompts, by the way, is that they just help you to think more openly and strategically. So some of these things may be a little bit simple, but what they also do is they just give us some ideas as to, you know, research further and just maybe look into things that we hadn't quite considered. So as an example, um, you may or may not be doing this at the moment, you know, allocating specific time blocks for focus work. You know, you may not be setting specific times to check emails instead of being constantly reactive. You know, these are just some of these things that, um, as I say, they could be entirely obvious uh, that you may be doing them already, but they do just give us food for thought and as a, serve as a reminder to make sure that we are doing them. So that's the first one, really, really effective. The second one is prioritization methods. So in my role, I frequently encounter situations that lead to feeling overwhelmed, primarily due to ju juggling multiple projects simultaneously and a lack of clear task prioritization. Is that, or is that not project management in a nutshell? Anyway, my ultimate goal is to successfully deliver, and then you can put in your goal here, you know, uh, on a particular project name or title within the specified timeline and budget. You can even put in, as an example, you could put your timeline in. So um, deadline, end of June 2024, as an example, and you could even specify your budget as well, just as a quick example. So can you provide a project manager centric, centric mantra or methodology to help me prioritize task effectively? And there's more to this as well. If I just plug this in, I just wanna show you exactly what this looks like. Sorry, a little bit all over the place. I do want to do this in a new chat. So I'm gonna hit send message. As I say, make sure you download this free document. Uh, this is worth doing in your free time. Um, but yeah, here's another example of why this is really, really useful. The Eisenhower matrix. Maybe you do or don't know about this. Uh, already, but this is a really effective productivity technique. If I just quickly show you, if you're not familiar with it, uh, exactly what it looks like, but it is very, very useful. So essentially it's a box with four different, well, it's a matrix of four different boxes and it helps you just to work out what tasks you need to be doing straight away. As an example, you've got your important and urgent uh, quadrant here. So anything that has a deadline or consequence is what you should be doing right away. On the other end of the spectrum, we have delete that are distractions and unnecessary. So they're not urgent and they're not important. So you simply don't do them. And then you've got a couple of different options in between. But this chat GPT prompt is really, really good just for showing us these kind of uh, concepts and just, exp yeah, it actually breaks it down in its entirety here. Um, but here we go, practical strategies for consistent implementation. So yeah, it's just all about helping ensure uh, that we are as productive as possible. As I say, download the document and use this in your own time. It will save you a lot of time. This one's really, I like this one a lot because it's something that we often neglect as a project manager and it's all about optimizing our energy. So if we just quickly look at this before plugging it in, project management demands peak energy and focus during certain phases of the day. I tend to be most energetic in the, and you can obviously change this depending on your, your time zone or how you're working or just your own energy levels when tackling high impact tasks and less so in the late afternoon. Today's schedule includes fix, commits, sorry, 
fixed commitments such as and then you can put your meetings and deadlines in here. I'm seeking guide guidance on aligning my most critical project related tasks like da -da 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 -da, with these high new periods to maximize productivity. So I'm gonna plug this in, sorry, I'm waffling a little bit. Let's delve into this. Let's plug this in and you could just, you know, you lit literally would just put in your things here. And what it's gonna do is it's literally gonna tell you um, to do uh, your certain tasks at certain times of the day. So as an example, uh, if I put in, um, KPI meeting. I'm literally just plugging something very, very quick in the interest of time. I'm seeking guidance on, uh, uh, let's just say, team meeting. No, no, not sorry. Like, um, like PowerPoint presentation updating, something like that. Let's just plug this in. I want to get this out there just to show you and save some time. So. Here we go. So given your peak energy in the morning, prioritize tasks that require creativity and concentration. So it's actually telling us to do the presentation first. Late morning, semi-energetic. So it's saying that we should maybe do our brainstorming sessions then. So yeah, this can just be really, really good if you don't know what to do and when. Uh, and yeah, I like the fact that it gives us a few little other ideas as well, like taking breaks and using certain tools and techniques. Um, Pomodoro technique, there we go. Another thing to look into, perhaps you're not doing it at the moment. It's an idea to consider. And then the last prompt I'm going to touch upon today is some focus techniques. So maintaining focus as a project manager can be challenging, particularly when faced with constant interruptions, unexpected scope changes and competing priorities. You could even put in here never ending calls, something that I've found as a project manager. It's just always on a call. Um, so you can put that in. What techniques can I employ to improve my focus and concentration with a dynamic project environment? So let's plug this in and let's see what we get. I keep opening that tab. It's the wrong one. This is the one I want. So let's plug this in. So time blocking, maybe that's something you're doing, maybe it isn't. Prioritizing tasks, setting clear goals, minimizing interruptions. So some of this, as I say, as this video has gone on, some of these are very obvious. Even though they are obvious, sometimes we just don't do them. So yeah, really, really good. So as I say, download this document, plug them in, and hopefully this will improve your productivity. At least they'll give you something to work from and give you a basis for your chat GPT prompting. With all that said, any questions, comments, feedback, drop them down below. And I hope you have an excellent day and I hope this boosts your productivity too.